Hello everyone and welcome to Siberia. I I checked the lenses to see what the continent was called and for whatever reason, the randomly assigned name was Siberia for this continent. So uh, that's very appropriate considering Russia now expanding into Siberia, in the game at least. In real life they've owned Siberia for a long time. But uh, we're going on with our theological combat here. We've got our foothold in the country now. We got that previous episode. Went from just having the one city to actually spreading our religion to a few neighboring ones, including Rio de Janeiro. Now, we don't have, like, 100% control over Rio de Janeiro religiously. They could always flip it back. But we're really taking it to Catholicism, which is the strongest religion outside of our own in the game right now to the point that we're probably actually exerting some serious religious pressure on other cities now. Like, you can see some going on there, we have some here. This is perfect. We might actually get a religious victory within the next three episodes. Alright, keep that money rolling. Why the money would roll, I don't know. Uh, right, what are you? You're a martyr. Okay, we're gonna explore a little bit with you, actually, because I think there's a city right up here, since I can see that road. You... Uh, have the martyr promotion. Okay, so if you die, you die. Not a huge deal. So I'm, I can be a little bit reckless with him. We'll get faith out of him if he dies because we get a relic. Uh, you can spread extra times. And I can't attack the apostle they have in the city, so just spread religion. And that was enough to actually make the uh, religious pressure here mixed. You're a debater. Well, we can still use up a spread. I don't think it makes them any weaker, so do it. Perfect. And yeah, looks like that didn't make them any weaker. So we're actually not going to use his last spread because he's a debater. He has such a bonus to relig religious strength in theological combat that we really need him to help put down enemy missionaries. And back in the city here, because I, I forgot a few turns actually of buying apostles, and we do need our apostles badly. That's where all of our muscle comes from in this war, is our apostles. Speaking of, their apostles are actually attacking our, uh, inquisitors there. Ooh, did we beat them? Wow! We actually beat their attacking, uh, I forgot I had people up here. We actually beat their attacking apostle. Okay, let's take care of the real fight over here first. The physical fight. Ouch. Yeah, we really need to take that camp already. I'm sick of barbarians running around there. We also had tea up there. I saw that we haven't upgraded yet. Okay, so you can take Pilgrim. Gain three extra spreads when moving adjacent to a natural wonder for the first time. So if we bring him to a natural wonder, we get three extra spreads. That's easy. There's a natural wonder right there. All right, give him Pilgrim, and what can you take? Pilgrim! Okay, we have two Pilgrims. I'm cool with that, and before I forget... It's a good thing our faith generation is so strong and we had built it up for so long. Okay, uh, so you're a martyr. Hmm. Okay, there's a Catholic city up there for me to take. This is now officially our holy ground, after that last fight. Yeah, you've got some more spreads left. You know what? Use a spread on this. Because that one was iffy. Okay, you're a martyr. Uh, I want better control over this city as well. Because I really need a strong foothold. Okay, so the pressure we're exerting on this city is pretty strong now. And this one. And remember, we do have a religious ability where our religion exerts a lot more pressure naturally. So getting these cities really starts to put the pressure on nearby cities. Uh, and there's no one religious here for me to fight. So, we get moving. Okay, they have you there. Minor victory? Yeah, we've got enough Inquisitors to gang up on them. Our Inquisitors can initiate the fight, which is nice. Although they're not as strong in uh, debate as an apostle. We got the numbers advantage. There we go. And that gets us some more pressure. 
We're really mopping the floor with them. I'm surprised they haven't declared war on us. Okay, Egyptian missionary, but <laughs> that's uh. The enforced spread of the rule of reason. But who is going to spread it among the colonizers? Oh, that's a really good quote. They just made a missionary, but they made it in a city that's dancing the, on the Congo's grave. So that's actually a missionary who spreads our religion. I'm cool with that. I think this might be a glitch uh, that the AI is spreading religions that is not their own. In fact, they're spreading religions that they're actively trying to fight against. I think that this will get patched soon. Because there's no way that's what they intended. Okay, you're a debater, so I just gotta get him to find an enemy missionary. So if there's a Catholic missionary, I should, I should flag that one down and finish it off. Alright, keep going for Yervin. Because their bonus is awesome! Their bonus is that uh, if I become their suzerain, which I think I need one more delegate for, if I become their suzerain, then... My apostles get to pick from every religious bonus rather than just from one religious bonus. Or rather from two. Okay, you're here. You're gonna move north. Because you are a pilgrim. So you've got five spreads now for going next to that wonder. You are a martyr. Okay, I'm gonna have him go east. For civic, um, again, no civic really is standing out to me right now is super useful. I just want envoys. You are, yeah, you just spread religion. So, have him go north. Actually, you know what? He can go over here with them. You are a pilgrim. So he's gonna work his way over there. You have no upgrade yet. You're gonna become an indulgence vendor, which is kind of lame. We get extra money if this unit converts a city for the first time. So it's just a one-time bonus of 100 gold. We get that every turn anyway. So uh, I'll take it, but I don't really care. Seems like Chaplin is always there. Heaving conversion, get barbarians. Don't really care. Likely never gonna get to use that. All right, and fortify the Inquisitors there, once again, just to defend the city that we keep control of, that we can buy our apostles in. God, we can make 12 trade routes now. We've really helped modernize the economy of the country. We went from barely making money to making trade routes left and right. Now, mind you, most of them are getting plundered, which is why I think I'm actually going to start uh, trading locally a lot more. Won't get uh, so much of a bonus, but still. Okay, I actually want a little bit ahead of what we need. There we go. So our apostles are now going to start uh, picking their bonus. So you are a debater, right? I got to find a missionary to attack. I can't reach him. Just got to find someone. All right. Okay, so it probably doesn't uh, start until next turn. But you are indulgence vendor, get moving. You can take those extra spreads, which is a really nice little bonus. Your translator! Yes, translator is so powerful. Okay. Considering this is Tundra, I don't know how many cities I'm gonna find in the south, whereas the north we know for a fact there are a few that we need to take care of that are different religions. So we'll take translator and keep on marching. I don't think there's any way they can compete with us at this point. Get sewers. And you are a martyr. Now, we're pretty weakened here, and they're on holy ground, so yeah, I didn't exactly expect a kill there. I'm actually gonna use this, uh, this guy to scout a little bit. There's a road down to nothing here. I'm guessing they had a road down to here that turned into a boat to go trade, uh, trade across the ocean. Maybe that's what that was. Your pilgrims have two spreads, and now you got five. Both of our pilgrims are heading north, which might be overkill. And you're an orator, so I might as well just keep having you a spread. Uh, although, theological combat, no real downside to doing it. 
Martyr. Uh, you know what? Just spread the religion. It's very little uh, religion spread because he was so wounded, but it's something. Along with the religious pressure of nearby cities, it was probably enough to do some serious conversion. Is a military animal. Glories in gunpowder and loves parades. Awesome. So let's actually check here. Religion. Civs converted, still only my own. I do not have the majority yet in even Brazil. I thought I would have had that by now. Brazil actually doesn't like me, uh, or likes me a little bit more than he used to. Same government, kept a diplomatic promise. I've said that you have more great people than him, that really bugs him. All right, indulgence vendor. So apparently we discovered niter on our lands. We'll go ahead and get that. Also, we're having amenity issues everywhere. Uh, there's amenity I can get up there. I should have done this forever ago. I've been neglecting things at home. Been too focused on the war. Uh, we have that tea. We can purchase. Ah, I can't purchase any more builders up here. That's a shame because I want to get that citrus. And we can claim a great writer that we won't use. Martyr. Uh, if they got no one religious up here to fight, then I'm just going to spread the religion. And you're an orator. Yeah. We'll just keep moving north and start hitting Egypt. I think Egypt doesn't have many cities. It doesn't seem like it does, at least. Okay, these are the guys with a ton of religious spreads. They have five each. So I'm gonna get some real use out of them. My debater. God, I've gotta find another religious person to debate already. It's like they're running away from me. Oh god, he better not come over here and kill my apostle. Debaters are so good. Alright. Ooh. God, I can see why they're not down there. They didn't even take care of the barbarians down there. Orator. Yeah, that one's cool. Oh, right. We, we can pick now. We can pick from all of them. Okay. Well, right now I can tell you translator. Translator all the way. It's such a good bonus. Uh, yeah, you start heading east with translator then. Um, you can just move now. And you take translator, start moving east. You can take, uh, God, and re eliminates other religions too. That's basically as powerful as translator. But we'll take translator for now. And you're a translator. You're going to head north. Oh, I think we've got this in the bag. Sell you. And use you to buy a builder. We also need a builder over there. In fact, we can use the same one. You can get that, that, and that. Uh, our spy was successful. I think he was just gaining contacts. Yeah, sources gained. That was it. There we go. And we no longer need to be concerned. I'm just going to wait in there. I don't care. Uh, no longer need to be concerned. Uh, spread more. There we go. I can't believe we took that one overseas. Well, it's a low population city. So does that actually get us majority now in their country? Not yet. Okay. You're a debater, right? Man, I think that they just don't have... Uh, I don't think they have enough culture, but I think, like, you know, they, they got all those missionaries and everything, and they just can't keep up anymore. I think we basically got them on the ropes for religion. Uh, steal some money. Yeah, siphon funds. You're a translator. Man, we have so much holy ground here too now. And it's getting easier and easier to spread religions. Because we, uh, we have so much religious pressure being pushed out on them. Let's get those dyes, actually. I don't remember if we have dyes yet already. Indulgence vendor. Yeah, move east. Orator. I think we might actually win this episode. We're taking such an immediate lead. 
God, that uh, that bonus we're getting from Yervin is just enormous. It might honestly be a little bit overpowered for a re for a religious victory. Being able to pick what you get. Oop, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Because I mean, some bonuses are way better than others. Well, they just made yeah an Egyptian missionary from a city that's our religion. Yeah, that's that's one of my that's essentially one of my missionaries. I'm just not controlling. I'm cool with them spreading my religion. Go for it. You see a castle under fog. You must walk there to meet the extraordinary dreams. Opera is when a guy gets stabbed in the back and instead of bleeding, he sings. That's an incredible quote. I love that quote so much. All right, well, there's a city state over here. I can see the border a little bit. Not that we need to get city states, but I mean, it's fun. <laughs> it gets points for that. Uh, you know what? No, keep pouring them into Yervin because I don't want anyone getting uh, getting anything that they can overtake Yervin with. I'm mostly just getting scouting in with my debater at this point. I don't think I need debaters anymore. There's no one left to debate. They just got this apostle here, but if he came from this city, he's still on the holy site. This, this apostle is of my religion. Yeah, I mean, why would I even debate him, right? I got no reason to debate him. I hope he doesn't try and debate me. Pilgrim, yeah. Okay, well, we're going to be able to spread a religion a lot there. You're a translator. Keep going east. I want to get these east coast cities. Okay, we've officially got more than half of the population of Brazil converted. We just need to finish off Egypt. I think this is the final episode then. Yeah, you're a translator. Send you north. Good thing we are sending most of, most of them north. I am going to still convert, uh, yeah, you're one of my missionaries. I'm not going to fight you. Um, I am still going to convert some eastern cities, though, just because I don't want it flipping back. Uh, just start upgrading whatever is near you. I don't really care. We've got this one in the bag. And... Ooh, pasture food. We can use that a little bit. Clear that. Okay, so I'm, you'll notice I'm not even making, um, okay, we can spread five times, we'll be fine. Yeah, I could, okay, no, I can't attack. Okay, that's very strange that it acts as if I could. Um, right, I don't really care about what goes on back home. We've got this one in the bag. Okay, this pilgrim can go to this one then. Honestly, if I fully convert both these cities, I think that's it. I think they've got another city somewhere that I can't see. I don't know. Because we don't see their capital yet. Get the translator moving. Yeah, I don't need to make any more religious units at this point. Okay, well that one's Catholic, we can get that one, but these two are both dancing on Congo's grave. <laughs> Love that name. You know what, we're not gonna find anyone else up here, are we? Just convert. Start getting some of my religious pressure in there. Oh, they're starting to get a little bit of their religion back here. Well, you're a translator, you could convert it if you really wanted to, I just don't really think I need to. Uh, okay, apparently his turn was not fully used up yet. And I'm just trying to find more cities at this point with this guy. Poor, poor apostles being sent out into the, into the tundra to try and find cities to convert. He doesn't even know where he's going. It's incredible. Uh, 
Uh, I hope this end part isn't too tedious for you guys watching. So, uh, yeah, I don't see that Catholic one anymore. He must have left in Leventa. Might as well take Leventa just because it's giving religious pressure for other religions in the nearby area. Okay, we still have Brazil under our control in terms of religion, so that's good. I'm not sure why it doesn't say what religion that apostle is, but it presumably came from this city. Oh, what do I need you to do? I guess the horses, get the horses on our side. Bank. Go up there to the citrus. Yep, keep trying to get that city under our control. Yeah, Pilgrim's nice and everything, you know, having all those religious spreads, but it's just like I could do one spread with uh, a guy who removes other religions or with a translator. And that's all I need. Whereas it feels like I need a ton with a regular missionary type spread. Okay, they got uh, Genghis Khan, great general. There we go, that gets another city under control, although uh, just barely. And remember, this is by population, not by city count, as far as I'm aware at least. If we go to overall here, uh, not overall, religion? No, right, it's under this tab. We have 22 cities dominant in, 0, 3, 3, okay. This, this is in the bag. Your translator. Uh, and you are an orator. So that's Brazil's last city, I think, that uh, is dominant in that religion, because the other two are dominant in Catholicism is Leventa and some Egyptian city up there. Dancing Congo's grave, Congo's grave, Congo's grave. You are a translator. You know what? Why not? Go up there and get them on our side. <laughs> Even though clearly Egypt is doing half the work for us at this point. A um, little bit tempted to spread it more in here just because there's more population to be done in here. But I also kind of want my translator up here doing the cities that have none of my religion. Okay, it's my prediction that we're winning within five turns at this point. The day we stop exploring is the day we commit ourselves to live in a stagnant world, devoid of curiosity, empty of dreams. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Cool, I like him. Uh, okay. What are we doing now? Heathen conversion, right? That's for barbarians. Up. Oh. Apparently it made me look at the wrong guy. Uh, it had me looking at this dude. Alright, I should have used that on the barbarians down there. Not that I really needed to, to be honest. Um, influenced by one person. People don't care much about this place, I guess. And it doesn't even have a religion somehow. Somehow none of these people have spread their religion. To, then again, they never spread it to Buenos Aires either. Which is pretty pathetic. Boom! That took over fast. What's my score look like right now? Amazing. More than uh, both my opponents combined. Uh, you know what? I don't need you there. And neither of you are Catholic. I need to send you up to Egyptian cities. I just don't need people in the south anymore. Uh, we already have majority here, but keep working at it. Because all that matters is we have the majority in their country, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, we could have done this forever ago, but again, I haven't been paying attention to things back home. Uh, yeah, I, I don't want to switch government. Oh, that was a glitch! Clicking that- oh, okay. Yeah, clicking that ended my turn somehow. Uh, which was a glitch, however, since I still had a guy to move, it stopped it from ending my turn. That's a glitch. Indulgence vendor. And you're a translator. You're a translator? That was quick. Wow. I 
think it's just it's just those two cities. I think they have another city up there. That might be their capital up there. I don't know. I was pretty sure that Egypt always starts with a floodplain, though, and it'd be weird to have a floodplain that far north. I mean, I can't rule it out. It's possible there's just something I don't know. Maybe I should have made more uh, apostles. Let's just make two more to finish things off just in case we really need more up there. But honestly, because I don't have missionaries to fight, that's slowing no down the religious spread. To attack a city. Siege of a city is only done as a last resort. Alright, what are we doing? Still making money back home. And I don't care about our research at this point. You are a translator. We already have three in there. What do we have over here? You're a pilgrim. Okay. You're gonna take Proselyzer, where he removes other religions as he goes. And he'll be turned into probably the same thing later. Maybe a translator. So I could use a translator here, and this would for sure have all five people in Thebes be of my religion. So we just got another follower there. Let's do that. Oh wow, they still hung on with one. It feels like a little bit of a waste. I could have gotten more done here. But the religious pressure there is still strong. Still don't have the majority of them yet. Needs more work. We got Levent on our side to exude more religious pressure. And you know what? Well, we're down there. Spread it to them just because there's no reason not to. And it looks like there must be more barbarians up there. Now, if they start pillaging at home, I'm gonna find it difficult to care at this point. Just because what's gonna stop me? A little bit of pillaging at home is not gonna stop my conquest, my religious conquest. Oh, I just saw achievements. We have a basic need to believe in something greater than ourselves. We crave solace in the darkness and light unto our path. Thanks to you, we found meaning amid the cosmos. Huh. I mean, it looked beautiful, but uh, I don't know. It seemed like a little bit short, a little lackluster. Now, if I had music playing right now, it'd probably be a little bit better, but we just won a religious victory. And you saw the achievements in the bottom left there. It's my first time ever winning as Russia, as well as my first time ever winning um, through religion. I actually forgot to get the achievement where I have a land trade route uh, from 60 tiles away. I probably could have done that if I had one between the old Norwegian capital and St. Petersburg. They're opposite corners of the continent. I probably could have gotten the achievement if I was careful there. But off screen, I can actually just reload a save and do that. Uh, my ranking is really, really bad. It's Nero. So great an artist I die. Yeah, my score was horrible. Um, I don't really know how to get a high score in this game. I mean, it was too easy in Civ 4 where basically if you won a military victory through a lot of capitulations, you would always get the max score. And in Civ 5, I always got near the max. But in Civ 6, I always get near the bottom. Maybe they... I don't know. What what would they score so highly? Maybe it's just having an enormous emperor. Maybe it is just heavily weighted towards domination, victory, and owning a lot of wonders, maybe? And we can see the replay here um, is just kind of telling you how the countries did. We can also turn on, if you want to see the, the brackets for city-states, I don't think that really matters. We can see here, we took an early lead around turn maybe 70-ish. And no one ever got anywhere close to us again, for culture per turn at least, which I don't know why that's the default. Faith per turn, nothing could touch us. Gold per turn, we had real spikes up and down on that one. That's probably with government changes or something. Um, unless that's how much, oh no, that's gold balance, not gold per turn. Okay, so that's every time we made a big purchase is when it went down. Um... Science per turn, always had a lead. 
Total cities captured. We're the only country to ever capture a city, apparently. Wow. Destroyed. No one destroyed cities. Total cities lost. Yeah, everybody else. Total buildings constructed. I had the most cities, so. Total wars declared. Hmm, Congo tied us. Right, I didn't actually declare many wars. I declared two wars. Um, yeah. No, I declared one war. Did I? Well, in Russia. Uh... Did I? It, it it looks there like I declared too, because it starts here and then goes up to here. But Congo and Norway declared war on me. I don't think I ever pieced it with either of them. And I declared war myself on Russia. Or not Russia, I am Russia. On Rome. Weird. Units lost. Units killed. Oh. Brazil actually beat me for units killed. I think they might have had some wars with Egypt at some point that I just wasn't privy to and nothing ever changed hands. I don't know. Well, they were having theological battles before I got there, too. A lot of them, <laughs> by the looks of it. Uh, looks like I kind of caught the tail end of that, so I swooped in at the perfect time. Well, the game crashed when hitting the go back to main menu button. That was weird. That's it for this playthrough of Civilization VI, but there'll be plenty more playthroughs of Civilization VI coming. If you have a recommendation for the next country that you'd like to see me do, let me know in the comments section. Uh, the next one I will be uploading, though, is my stream of Rome, but that won't take long to upload at all. I'll be doing extra long episodes and everything to get it uploaded faster so I can do whatever country you guys request in the comments section. Follow me on Twitter, subscribe, all of that good stuff, and until next time, have a nice day.